A boom, boom. You know, all right, what, what? How? Ah, oh, poop. They make this, oh my God. I got one ring, I got one ring. Welcome to Int Plus One Channel. This is Carl and I'm playing us. Okay. I tried to make that work. That didn't work. But I am playing Sonic the Hedgehog 2. This is episode 6 of Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And we're at, well, I don't want to say it's one of my favorite levels, right? Because it's actually kind of a harder level compared especially to what we've been playing lately. But the thing is, is it's got amazing music. There's something about this tune. I like it. I don't know what it is. It's yeah, got you, buddy. But it's definitely got a lot of spikes. It's got a lot of tricks. Uh, it's got a lot of shields. Apparently, I just got two. And in, in a whoa, hey, gotcha. I just got a lot of shields kind of quickly. Um, maybe it expected that I should have lost it by now. That's all right. Uh, anyway, somebody messaged me. I guess they want me to do a video call with them. That's kind of random. Oh, all right. Anyway, that was distracting. Don't let me get too distracted here. <sighs> I was one ring short of the uh, special stage, but you know, I've attempted it three times here. And quite frankly, it just isn't happening. Two KS Emeralds is definitely better than zero, but it's, uh, it just makes me look like a total noob at this game, right? Hey, look at that. Oh my goodness. Really? It's not happening right now. All right, going down here. All right, nobody ever does, nobody ever just calls me through Facebook. Why is this person randomly calling me through Facebook? Ugh. That sound is incredibly agitating. I don't know if you can hear it, but like, really, really? I don't think the ringing stops either until I actually acknowledge it, so whatever. I'm just gonna have to deal. My God, my God. Can you, can you give up, please? Can you give up, please? Still friggin' at it, man. What the heck? What the high holy hedgehog? Okay, so anyway, I'd rather just be kind of talking about this game and I have really apologize about that. That is just, ah, uh, I don't know. You, you can give up after a few seconds and that's fine. Oh, hey, look, a shield. Nice, I like shields. Okay. Uh, you know, that part's actually killed me many a time when I was a kid. So I was kind of lucky I managed to uh, managed to beat that. Now, something that's actually really interesting about this game is that the Christian Whitehead re-release on, um, on Android and iOS actually has that lead to what was a, a cut zone. Um, because there, oh gosh, there's so much history behind this game actually. Because there was like a Nick Arcade build of this game that had some fundamental differences. And then, um, you know, that ROM eventually was uh, leaked to the internet. Although, from my understanding, it's not exactly the same as the Nick Arcade ROM, unless that eventually showed up. I haven't really kept up with the, uh, the ROM scene for Sonic. But, there was this zone called Hidden Palace Zone that was actually going to be like a real zone. Well... It got it got essentially pulled. It didn't it didn't happen, but it was pretty much partially finished. Um, and in some of these beta ROMs, you could actually play it. Well, he went ahead and actually basically finished it and released it. And, and it's irritating because you know right now I'm faking widescreen to get it right. This is really just four by three stretched. But that actually those versions have a native widescreen mode, and it's just it's just really cool. I guess that, uh, you know, this just kind of happened at the wrong time. Um, I don't remember the name of the company that actually did these ports. And they're pretty solid ports. The only thing that I find weird is that the, uh, 
those bouncy uh, circular things. I don't know what I want to call them, but the boom, boom. You know, are, what, what, how? Ah, oh, poop. They make this, oh my God. I got one ring, I got one ring. We are almost to the boss, aren't we? I think we are almost to the boss already, guys. Oh, maybe not. Oh, those are those springs again from the, the second zone, the chemical plant zone. But it's just really cool that essentially cut content became not only added back, but you know, they actually finished it and made it available. And it's actually available through like this one random pit in this, uh, in this game, which I guess went nowhere before but now is effectively a secret. So you don't even go through it like, uh, through like your traditional level rotation. All right, now I think I'm coming up on the boss. Yep, all right, I'm gonna quick save here just cause I don't remember what to expect. Um, it's kind of interesting. I mean, you know, some of these memories that I have of this game are like, you know, they're, they're like almost two decades old. They might actually be two decades old. All right. Wait, that doesn't hurt him? Dang it. That hurt. One of the fun things to do with this game too, actually, is to go ahead and give somebody the uh, controller to be Tails. Because, you know, Tails, he can quote, take damage, but he doesn't actually really take damage in any kind of a meaningful way. I wish the special stages worked like that, actually. It's pretty irritating that it doesn't. The fact that Tails is more of a liability than an asset is kind of frustrating. But I digress. We beat Act 2, and we are on to the Oil Ocean Zone, which is another level that I'm actually quite fond of. The music's on point. The visuals are on point. It's, it's a masterpiece. But you know what? That's outside of the scope of this episode. So I hope you join me for Episode 7 of Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2. With that said, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you want to make any comments, go ahead and leave some comments. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. But I'm going to kind of cut it there. So let's keep doing the thing, and I'll see you next time.